Welcome to our guide for installing finished edge technology nosing. We will begin with installation on standard steps. Let's begin by installing the riser. Apply glue to the back of the riser in an S pattern and install it on the step. Start by placing a scrap piece of nosing on the tread. Make sure that you have a flush fit against the tread. If the bottom lip of the nosing is too long and prevents this, it will need to be trimmed. Measure the depth needed for the next plank. Transfer this measurement to a plank and trim. This can be done for all planks before proceeding. Now, measure the width of the tread. Click the nosing and plank together and mark the width measurement. Cut off the excess from both pieces. Turn the nosing over and apply a half inch bead of glue along the inner top corner of the nosing. This step is crucial to the structural integrity of the installed nosing and must not be skipped. Apply glue to the tread in an S pattern. Push one end of the nosing down against the drywall, then push down on the opposite end. Click the back piece plank into the nosing and push the unit forward. Make sure there is no gap between the front of the tread and the inner surface of the nosing. Let's take a look at installing finished edge nosing on waterfall steps using nosing fillers. Begin by pre-drilling holes every eight inches along the filler. Then apply glue to the back. Attach to the tread and screw the filler in to secure it. From here, install like a standard step. Here, we'll install finished edge nosing on waterfall steps without nosing fillers. First, install the riser. Then tape off the vinyl to be cut and trim off the inner lip. Measure the depth needed for the plank. Transfer this measurement to a plank and trim it. Glue the inside corner of the nosing as before. Apply glue to the surface of the tread, then install the nosing and plank. Next, let's cover the process of installing finished edge nosing for open-ended steps. Install the riser. Miter cut the front nosing on the edge facing side. Cut the side nosing piece straight across to the overhang, then finish with a miter cut. Trim an end cap from a scrap piece of nosing and glue it to the overhang. Miter cut the front of the side nosing piece. Trim the depth and width of the plank to fit between the two nosing pieces. Glue the inner top corners of both nosing pieces. Apply glue to the surface of the tread. Then proceed to assemble all three sections on top of the tread. Pull back any pieces without a mechanical connection and apply adhesive in between the crevices. Push the piece back in to complete the install. Apply tape to secure the pieces until the adhesive has cured. Finally, let's take a look at installing finished edge nosing on a top step. Measure the depth of the exposed tread. Transfer this measurement to the nosing. Ensure that you leave a small gap for grout caulking and cut. Apply glue to the inner top corner of the nosing. Apply glue to the top of the tread. Then, push the nosing into place and apply tape to secure it until dry. Prepare the vinyl for caulking. Tape along both sides of the gap, apply the caulk, then remove the tape. For all step types, allow 24 to 36 hours for glue to fully cure, according to manufacturer directions.